Hello aspirants, welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an exciting topic to discuss that will help you excel in the upcoming UPSC Combined Geoscientist Examination 2023. I hope most of you are aware of how to prepare or write a proper answer by now, right? So we will not talk about that in this video. So let's talk about some of the less spoken areas where aspirants often face difficulty, right? So let's get started. One of the challenges we often face in the exams is encountering unexpected questions. But you should not be afraid of it. Here are some of the effective strategies to approach such situations. First thing is very crucial. That is, you need to stay calm and composed. When faced with an unexpected question, it's natural to feel a momentary sense of panic. Right? So just take a deep breath, stay calm and remind yourself that you have prepared well for it wide range of topics by now. Trust in your abilities and approach the question with a clear mind. Now that you are composed, you need to analyze the question. Read the question carefully and identify the key components. Pay attention to keywords and phrases that provide clues about, the, about what the question is asking. And then break down the question into smaller parts to better understand these requirements. Also look for familiar elements. Uh, sometimes, even in unfamiliar questions, there might be elements or concepts that you recognize, right? So, try to identify any connections or similarities to topics you have already studied. This can provide you with a starting point for your response. Next is to apply your problem-solving skills. Use your problem-solving skills to dissect the question and develop a logical approach. Break it down into manageable parts and consider different angles or perspectives. Think critically and apply relevant concept or principles to formulate your response. Make an educated guess based on the information you already know, right? And in this situation like this, uh, prioritize <coughs> uh, other questions. If you encounter an unexpected question that is taking up too much time and causing undue stress, it's essential to manage your time wisely. Consider moving on to the next questions and revisiting the unexpected questions later if the, if the time permits. Remember, every question carries equal weight. So it's crucial to maximize your overall score and not stuck on a particular question, right? So let's understand this by taking an example. In the year 2022, there was a question. What is closer temperature of minerals? Discuss its significance in geochronology. This was not ex explicitly mentioned in any standard books that aspirants often study, right? So first of all, Begin by reading the question attentively to understand its requirements and identify the key components. Here, closure temperature and significance in geochronology are the key words. I know that geochronology relates to dating of geological events and this involves dating the isotopic system in a particular mineral or a rock, right? Now when I read closure temperature, it uh, seems to indicate a threshold of temperature. With these two references, I can deduce the introduction of my answer which is, closer temperature refers to the temperature at which a mineral or rock system closes its isotopic globe. It signifies the temperature below which no further isotopic exchange or resetting occurs within the system. As you can see, I have just taken the keywords and deduced the introduction using simple language. It is relevant and correct as well. So this is how you logically approach an unfamiliar question. Now we also know isotopic system is unique to each mineral, hence I can add that as a point to my answer as well. Now to answer the next part that is the significance, I will write some of the generalist points which are relevant in this context. First, by knowing the temperature of a specific mineral, we can determine the age of that mineral or a rock. This is something you can actually write in any question related to geochronology. Right, so there is nothing um, rocket science here. Also, by measuring the isotopic composition of minerals, geoscientists can determine when uh, a specific uh, geological event has occurred. This is a generalist point as well. And third, closer temperature aids in understanding thermal history of rock and minerals. Now to validate my points, I'll give certain examples. As we know, zircon is a high temperature mineral and hence the closer temperature will be also high, which makes it suitable for dating high temperature events like the crystallization of igneous rocks. On the other hand, mica is other low temperature minerals and has a closer, lower closer temperature as well. So making it useful for the dating of low temperature events like cooling of igneous rocks. So by employing these strategies, we can actually effectively answer, the, uh, answer and approach unexpected questions like the one about the closure temperature of minerals. 
understanding the key concepts, defining terms, and providing relevant examples help in constructing a comprehensive and well-structured an answer even in the unfamiliar territory, right? You could get a reasonable score even in questions you don't know for sure. Remember that as much as content is important, it is also important to answer all the questions in the paper. That makes the difference. That decides whether you make it to the final list or not. And expect at least two to three que unexpected questions in each, each paper, if not more, right? So that's all for today, guys. I hope you found this video useful and the tricks that I have mentioned will be helpful in your exam tomorrow. Share this with your friends who are writing Combined Geoscientist means this year. And remember, you have the power to conquer pressure and achieve greatness. All the best for the mains. I know that you all will do great in the exam. And until next time, keep striving for success. Thank you.